let's create cloth fog with the help of surface modeling see here this is a kind of cloth fog and we will learn some basic surface feature like filled surface swift surface and let's see how we can create this is the base uh, we have one uh, side view and there is a one section view AA. Now see the wall thickness 1 millimeter and uh, we will create half side and half side we will mirror. Uh, let's take the outer diameter. Angle 10 millimeter. Total length 35 millimeter from this surface to here. Then 40 millimeter from here to here. Now then this diameter 8 and bottom diameter 22. The, this angle 2 millimeter. Now here we have uh, one radius 20, another one is 21. It means this is parallel to this one and uh, this 14 millimeter. Let's see how we can do this. Top plane is sketch. Now let me draw one. Okay. Activate line tool start from here now see convert this line into arc draw perpendicular now make parallel line to this now go back to this point and see this is also going to convert into arc again go back to the point and see this line also going to convert into arc so Click here somewhere and make little taper. Okay. A smart dimension. Twenty two twenty millimeter. Forty thirty five millimeter eight millimeter. Okay, let's correct this. Let's make these two equal, these two equal. Now make this point tangent. This is important. Two degree fourteen. Okay, let's check which point select this point tangent tangent. Okay, one angle important angle select this ten degree. Okay. Now we forget to add one. This is not equal to. Now select this one and this one. It is going to be concentric. Okay. See it looks fully defined sketch. Simply exit. Now let me select here front plane sketch. Now let me select here center point arc. This is the our center point. Start from here. Click somewhere here. And select this point and this point. Horizontal. Okay. Exit. Now let's create. Go to swift surface. First I am going to select this one. Right click selection manager. Choose here group. And I am going to select this one okay but direction also available so right click selection manager choose here group in group you can choose multiple line so let's say i'm going to select only one say okay see this is the direction but this is the path okay see Again show previous sketch. Now let me again create one plane. 
go to drop down plane which plane let's say top plane one reference plane other reference plane i am going to select this line this line is perpendicular to this top plane okay now select the plane one a sketch another activate center rectangle isometric view or let me choose here before three point arc this end to this end now select the center point of curve hold shift key select this line and here make it coincide look it seems fully defined this sketch exit again let me go to surface swift surface first this is the profile now for path right click selection manager i am going to choose this path so select here group i am going to select 1 2 say okay but curve also one guided curve also given so right click selection manager now here choose group select 1 2 this is the guided curve okay now for smooth faces i am going to uh, we don't need a smooth face so uncheck this one say okay see now let me do one thing apply some color okay it looks more visible now let's mirror this one right plane choose mirror go to features mirror and here choose bodies to mirror select this see the preview okay now we need to create path here top plane sketch okay now let me select these lines convert entity but make it construction line this is going for only reference purpose choose for construction see here again let me select this line this line trim entity power trim trim half now see we have these two lines so okay let me create one plane either delete this one three point arc connect from here to here uh, let's check this radius 20 mm okay it's fine mirror entity okay we need one center line also mirror entity let me choose this feature mirror about this feature look we have three faces let's check isometric view see go to surface extruded surface reverse direction 10 mm anything no problem we need this for reference purpose what reference for filled surface previous sketch hide okay now choose filled surface first let me choose this one age here i am going to choose curvature because in this situation curvature works better than tangent because surface are uneven fix a boundary merge result now let me select another age set third age fourth age fifth age see the shapes created now let me select this last age now look you will see the preview here uncheck merge result now apply delete keep body 
delete bodies let's say this one this one and this one these three things okay now let's mirror reference plane top plane bodies to mirror select this one and here select knit surface okay now still there are 1 2 3 4 still there are four bodies okay let's go and knit surface merge entities thickness select the body 1 mm and make sure inside see Don't forget to share, like our video, and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.